Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn how to get uh, max and mean values from a table by using aggregate functions. Uh, SQL Server does provide us aggregate functions uh, such as sum, count, uh, min, max, uh, and average. Uh, and uh, there are uh, some others. Uh, but uh, we are going to concentrate or use uh, max and min in this uh, demo. Let's open our SSMS uh, and create a table DBO customer. I have ID, first name, last name, country, short name, and sale amount. And then I have these values uh, for this uh, table. Uh, you see that one of the value is uh, null. So create a table, insert the values. Uh, we can take a look on our output and we see that sale amount has these values. Uh, if uh, you have small set, it is easy to get that, uh, oh, 10 is my ma minimum value in this uh, sale amount uh, column and 87 is my max uh, value here. But think about that, you have millions of record uh, and you would like to get max and main uh, sale amount. Uh, now, it will be easy to write this query quickly and use these functions. Uh, so we will use max and say sale amount. That's the column you need to provide provide as alias I'm gonna call this one max sale amount and the same thing you have to do for men you will be saying men and then provide the column from which you would like to get the minimum value I'm going to use the same sale amount column here and call this one men sale amount let's execute our query and we see that we got a max sale amount 87 and min sale amount 10. If you have noticed here, we have one of the value that is null in our customer table. So let's take a look on the sale amount column and we see that we have a null. Now it is your choice or it is your requirement. In some, there could be cases where say uh, where the people say, oh, if it is null, then consider as a zero. But uh, by using max and min, uh, that value will be ignored. So if you run this, you see that it did not return us uh, uh, null at all. As long as there are values uh, for sale amount, uh, it is going to return us those uh, as uh, min and max. Uh, now, if you would like to go ahead and say, oh, okay, if I have a null, I'm going to consider that as a zero. So then I can make a comparison. So let's uh, convert that is sale amount to zero if it is null so we say is null comma zero so what we are doing uh, we are saying if uh, my sale amount is uh, null put that zero there for the sale amount and same thing i'm going to do it here even doesn't really matter because we have the values uh, but in case uh, you have you don't have the values and uh, you would like to say whenever it is null you would like to have zero there and compare it especially uh, I don't know, it totally depends upon the scenario. Uh, but this is one way to convert your null to the zero and then get the max and min. So in the first query, remember when we executed for uh, min and max, we got 87 and we got 10 because null was ignored and the 10 was the minimum value. Now, as we have converted the null to zero, that's why our minimum value is zero. Now, let's go one step ahead and see how these functions of max and min work with uh, string values. So now if I want to go ahead and write this, uh, select star from uh, customer. And I will say, oh, I would like to get uh, the min and max value from first name. So let's uh, say for max first name as max first name comma min first name as sorry f name i don't have first name column as min first name okay so if we run this query here what is going to happen so it is going to select some values for us so you see that in the max what we got we got suki and in the first or main uh, uh, name we got Elisa. So I'm gonna go ahead and run these two queries together for you so you can see them together and uh, how it work. So if you run these, you will see we have these uh, values there. Let me 
make it a little bigger. So you see that in the first name we have Raza, Rita, Suki, James, Robert, Elise, and John. But when you we use the max and min, it's kind of sorted the values in this column. So what it does when you use the max or min with the strings, it sort the data alphabetically and then uh, it give you the first or last value. So let's see if I'm gonna go ahead and sort order by and first name this is going to happen so if you see here notice here the first name is the sorted and then uh, the last value you see that uh, alphabetically that's the max value and here your min, min value so that's how if you use max and min it's, it's going to sort the values uh, and then get uh, for the max is going to get the bottom value and for the min it is going to get the first value from here so that's how it will work it does make sense sense sometime if uh, to use this max and min with the uh, your uh, string values uh, you know if uh, that, that's kind of uh, come as a required to get one value from the bottom and one value from the top from the entire column values so you can use that there so thanks very much for watching this video I hope this video will help and uh, you will find the link the code uh, for the code in the description I will see you guys in the next video